Chris Tax is on right now. Let's take a constructive break and do some work afterwards, huh? That's a good idea. Yeah? yeah. Okay, yeah. let's go. Did you take me to the European Business School? Sure. Hi, welcome to the Kurs Taxi. This is the only taxi in Germany where you don't have to pay, but you get money for a answering questions. Okay. Today our topic is entrepreneurship. So are you ready for your first question? Shoot me. Okay. Name three characteristics of an entrepreneur. Of an entrepreneur? Yes. Whoa. Um, well, they have to be risk-taking, I guess. Yes. Uh, uh, I don't know, I'm, I'd say they have a need for achievement, and um, what else? Yes. Perhaps uh, the wish for absolute control over a project. Yes, well done, that's 50 euros. So let's go on to the next question. <laughs> uh, what starting capital do you need to found uh, a, comp a GmbH in Germany? A German Limited? Yes. Um, that would be 25,000, we just had that actually. Yeah, that's Euro. right. Um, let's go on to the next question. Okay. How do you call the person that uh, gives com uh, gives a, a new startup founding capital? Founding capital. Uh, you mean private investors? Yeah, high net individuals. Um, high net worth individuals. Well, they're business angels and venture capitalists. Yes, that's absolutely right. <laughs> Great, awesome. <laughs> and now to the last question, the master question. Uh, okay. Um. As we've heard, venture capitalists or business angels give their own money uh, to people who want to start up their own company. Okay. But they also often give their expertise. How do you call money that comes from people who also give their expertise to new startups? Uh, well, uh, how do you call people who give their money and their expertise to startups? Um, I can't really call anybody, can I? No. Uh, sure, you can. Okay. Let me call up a friend of mine. Hey, um, how, how do you call people who uh, give their expertise and their money to a new startup? Smart money? Okay. Um, I think I'm going to go with smart money. You absolutely sure? <laughs> Well, no, but yes, I go for it. Congratulations, that was right. Awesome! You won 10,000 euros. Well, that's awesome! <laughs> Congratulations. Really? So, um, yeah, and we are also at our destination, so okay. all the best. So, what are you going to start? Uh, well, first of all, here's your money. Seriously, you would? Okay. Thank, thank you so much. It's, You're very welcome. I, I, I don't know what to say. Um, so, well, what am I going to do with it? Um, I'm in the midst of planning my own company, actually, which is great, and you you wouldn't believe what I can do with it. And uh, I don't know, with that money, I guess I've got all what is needed, all what it's take, uh, what it takes to found the, to, um, found and launch the company. Great. Actually. Well, yeah. congratulations, and we wish you all the best. Thank and, you uh, so much. Keep in touch, and let oh, us know how the company goes. Yeah, I will. Okay. So, Paul, welcome back after one year. Uh, of an exciting life. So, um, just one year ago, you you won ten thousand euros in our quiz taxi. So, is it? And you told us that you wanted to start your own company with that. That is true. So, what happened? Well, since then, and because of your financial help, I officially founded my company in June eighteenth. And um, since then, it's been going great. Actually, I've, I'm currently in the midst of the startup, and I'm really pushing forward with the entire idea. So let us know um, what, what is really the idea behind your company. Well, to be honest, Comonia is an online trading platform. It gives you the freedom of choice in your official trades, meaning that you can trade items for items, or you can exchange them for money, or in combination of both, which is really unique on, on the entire internet. And anyone can take part in this over the internet? Anyone can, actually, yes. Okay. Um, so um, now that you have uh, been able to, to kind of experience being an entrepreneur for one year yourself. Okay. What? How? How can you explain that there's so many definitions of entrepreneurship, and what is your own definition of entrepreneurship? 
Well, to answer your first question, I think it's kind of hard to grasp the entire idea behind entrepreneurship. It's not like you can really study entrepreneurship, it's really an effort that you have to put yourself into it. And to answer your second question, what's my motivation behind it? Um, I don't think that I can do anything else than being an entrepreneur. You really have to go after the ideas that you, well, that you are having on a daily basis and you're really trying to push it forward. So it's really more of a way of life than a motivation, I'd say. Great. Well, we wish you all the best and uh, good luck with your company. Thank you. And we hope to see you again. Of course. Thank you. You're welcome.